This is One on One. Patricia Harris is a teacher and math coach at Marion P. Thomas Charter School in Newark, New Jersey. This is part of our classroom close-up initiative done in cooperation with our partners at the New Jersey Education Association. You're about to see a video clip as part of the classroom close-up series seen on NJTV, our sister public television program here in New Jersey. Before we speak with Patricia, we're going to take a look at a video. This is called a uh, math teach-in, is it not? Yes. You're going to see eighth grade students, your students, right? They are, in fact, teaching parents, not their parents, but other parents. It's a role reversal, if you will. Is it a fascinating way of teaching math and getting young people engaged in learning all about math and parents as well. Take a look. The probability of finding a consonant is also is 50%, which is also the same probability of finding a vowel. Today is our sixth annual math teaching for our eighth grade students. It's an opportunity where our eighth grade students take the content that they've learned in eighth grade mathematics and apply it through instructing their parents, family members and friends who come to the middle school village to learn about math. And it's their opportunity to show, basically show what they know. This is my 11th year teaching at the Mary P. Thomas Charter School. I found that um, toward the end of the year, the children were tired, but we still had to prepare for the high stakes test, the GEPR as it was called back then. Uh, so I came up with the idea of let's have a math teaching so that the children and the staff could all get together and work and prepare for the high stakes test in a serious way and then have a nice event where the families could come together and watch their children teach math concepts. You will do one fourth times 90, which is the radius of the NSA. Are you taking notes? You never really know something until you teach it because it is a little difficult teaching them because you may know it, but it's hard to convey your message. We always connect the math concepts to real world situations. We try to make sure we link it to their world so that they understand that math is not something that is just talked about and taught in a classroom, but it extends outside of the classroom into every other area. Uh, social studies, science, um, language arts, and into their world. So they, they learn quite a bit over the school year. I made these. The entire village, meaning our school, comes together. It's not a paid activity. There's a lot of volunteer hours that go into it, uh, from the art teacher making certain um, presentations that you'll see in the room, to the kids coming together to uh, for put the room together and organize the room to getting the kids dinner and making sure everything is set so that when the parents get here the kids are ready to really show them what they know. What are these triangles? Are they like, like are they congruent, similar? Please give her a sticker. Congruent triangles. So these triangles are congruent. Not only did we find out where they're congruent, we found out that the answer was 8.2. So give it up for you guys. My main goal is for the children to establish a deep sense of love for mathematics. Also, I like for them to um, feel really, really good about themselves, that they were successful at this event, and kind of take that good self-esteem and carry it forth. Patricia Harris, you have to be awfully proud. Why are you so proud? Um, I, I love math. Simply said, I, I just love math and I, I love um, when the children uh, come into the math classrooms and, and develop a sense of love for math as well. And we do that, so not with all of our children, but with quite a few of them. So yeah, uh, I am proud about that. But the energy, the enthusiasm, the motivation, the fun, I mean, that video, that three-minute video that we got uh, from our partners at the NJEA for this Classroom Close-Up mm -hmm. Series, did it do justice to what was going on that night? Is, was that the feeling? Uh, basically, but there's a lot that goes into preparing that event. I Describe mean, it. Um, well, as I said, we start with coming up with the problems. So we decide what problems that we want to feature um, for the teaching. Uh, we try them out, we make sure they're appropriate uh, 
during spring break sometimes and, and during other times. Uh, we partner with uh, the uh, small library in Newark, the Branch Brook Branch. Yeah, that's and, my branch. I uh, grew up. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. Down by Summer Avenue? Yeah, and yeah. so the, the librarians, a couple of them, um, allow us to use their space in the basement, you know, their meeting hall, so the parents drop the children off there, and we practice with them and make sure they understand what they're doing, solving problems. Then we walk down the street to the local pizzeria, and we have uh, wow. lunch. We come back and work some more. Um, uh, as you s saw, one of our um, uh, custodians, uh, he, he makes shapes for us so the mm. children can have props to explain volume and surface area to the parents mm. and to actually be able to allow them to touch and feel things. The art teacher make, makes uh, items to decorate um, the, the space. Uh, uh, people sometimes uh, prepare food or we purchase food so that the, um, the children have dinner. They don't go home for the evening. They stay, they eat, and they prepare. They gather their materials. Uh, the teachers in the village val uh, volunteer their time because... Excuse, excuse me mm -hmm. for interrupting. Why do you call it a village? Um, that is our slogan. Our slogan at Mary P. Thomas Charter School is it takes an entire village, it takes a whole village to raise a child. Does it? Yeah, most certainly. Absolutely. Yeah. We That's try not to a get, cliche. No, it's not. Everybody has to be involved in raising children. Everybody. Yeah. And the teacher's role. It's so interesting. Uh, the teacher's role in the village is? Well, in reference to the math teaching, they volunteer their time at night. They make sure the children have everything they need, right. um, and they just make sure that uh, everything is running smoothly, but they don't participate in the actual teaching to the parents. I'm curious about this. You've been teaching, coaching for how long? Um, I've been a teacher at Marion P. Thomas Charter School for 12 years, but this is my third year. Mm -hmm. uh, with as this a math initially. coach. No, we've done the, cl the uh, teaching for six years. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When did you know you wanted to teach? Um, <laughs> actually, teaching is my third career. I mean, uh, if I had it to do over, it would have been my first career because when I started, I realized I love teaching. It's, it's I think, what I should have been doing all, all along. So Why? Um, I love being with the children. I love interacting with them. I love um, mathematics. I love um, developing the students into mathematicians. I love seeing when that, that light bulb goes on when they understand something and from that point forward they just begin to understand everything related to mathematics. I love when a parent runs across the street from her car to me and says, my son did not like math, but because of you, he loves math now. So all of those things are why I, I just, I love teaching. I love teaching. You have a gift and you're giving the gift to them? Um, That's I, what you're doing. I hope so. <laughs> Patricia Harris is a teacher and math coach, and she is terrific at what she does, and more importantly, her students are benefiting. You honor us by being here. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital, the heart of academic medicine, Cone Resnick, providing accounting, tax, and advisory services for more than 90 years. The Russell Berry Foundation, Fedway Associates, Inc., PSE&G, committed to improving New Jersey's economy and strengthening its communities, New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance Group, auto insurance, homeowners insurance, and banking under the principle of stewardship, and by the law firm of Gibbons PC. Promotional support provided by The Star Ledger and NJ.com, Everything Jersey and by NJ Biz, all business, all New Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.